Hello and welcome to another video. Hopefully that wasn't insanely loud because I'm not editing it. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't know why I thought that would be funny. Hopefully it was. Hopefully, hopefully you just woke up 5 a.m. just looking for a good video to watch and you get to enjoy me eating a microphone. Uh, I've never had one before, so you're just going to have to put up with me playing with this one for a little bit. What have I done today? Well, let's talk about it. Uh, let's see. I woke up today, uh, 5.20, about the same time as I normally do. Went to the gym, waited outside for people to show up for PT, didn't see anybody. Walked inside right at the time we were supposed to start, and everybody had already come in without me. So, already down a notch there. Uh, but we were doing a push day uh, for PT in which all of our exercises involved pushing outwards. <laughs> And working those particular muscles. And for once, we actually went on the bench press. And it was the first time I've been on a bench in, oh, gracious, nearly two years at least. Something like that. Maybe even longer. And I was actually quite happy with myself. My old max used to be 160. I've never been much of a muscly guy. I've usually been pretty noodly thin. But even after so much time uh, gone from the workouts and the weight rooms, I still pretty handily got up. I think it was 135. I, I have a feeling I could have done one or two reps of uh, 150 if it had been on there. So I'm very happy with that, actually. Uh, I, I, I figured I was slacking pretty hard because I'm very, very bad at these um high-quantity, low-weight workouts. We normally do four sets of 10. So in my old workouts, it would be Grab a 30-pound barbell, crank that thing five times, sit five times, sit, go up to the 40-pound five times, let it sit. But now, it's like grab that 20-pound and just get ready for that grind because you're going to be sitting there doing the same motion for like six minutes straight, just 40 times out, just grinding that, and it's no fun. It just gets you sore. Uh, but doing those less rep kind of workouts. It's what I used to do. It's what I liked doing. So I enjoyed that. Uh, weirdly, PT was fun for me as a result today. Um, doing my best to keep mouth noises out of this because I noticed a couple of them in the old video and I don't want to subject you guys to that. Um, gracious, what did I do next? Uh, took a shower, went to work. Uh, we, well, I was rather hoping not to go to work today because we were scheduled to be in a class all day. But, unfortunately, the person teaching that class uh, made it very, very quick yesterday in an attempt to kind of get out of it quicker so he could be somewhere today. And I thought it was kind of one of those situations uh, where one of my co as one of my coworkers would say, chestnut checkers. We were reserved to be out for the day, but... We came in anyway. <laughs> Ugh. So I worked all day on technical issues with a video that I was making. I uh, got it all down to only one correction left. Where's my finger? One correction left. Uh, and I am unable to do that correction as a result of the one person I would need to film having COVID. So that's exciting. But I did actually make some progress today. It wasn't just sitting around. So thank goodness for that. Gracious. I apologize. I don't know why I'm producing so much saliva. Maybe it's because I'm actually drinking fluids again. Uh, I went to the shop shortly after work and was not able to find a filter, so I'm still not drinking clean water yet. Kind of sucks. It's been like a week, but oh well. Um, yeah, I I'm just I'm continuing to wait on them to bring a filter in. That's the most exciting thing going on in my life right now, so I apologize. Uh... The whole day I've been trying to put more thought into what potential cars I could buy. And to be honest, I'm starting to kind of work myself into the mindset of someone who's convincing themselves that a muscle car is a good idea. <laughs> because to be honest, for me, it would be the experience. I mean, everyone looks at some 20-year-old in a muscle car and goes, wow, that guy's an idiot. 
Kind of, yeah. I want to experience what being an idiot is like because so far in my life, the biggest risk I've ever taken was buying an 80s Japanese coupe that was souped up to 132 horsepower, which it never even had in the first place because the engine had low compression, resulting in the Volvo I bought as a replacement seeming fast. So in my life, I've never been one to really just jump off the deep end. I mean, the craziest thing I've ever done is join the army and millions and millions and millions of people have done that. Uh, I suppose it's not too crazy to buy a muscle car as well. I mean, it's the stereotype, you know, go to war for a V6 Camaro. But with what I've saved, I would actually be able to buy a rather good car. I, the Mustang I was looking at was a 2012 GT. That's 412 horsepower. That's insane. You can barely touch that with a couple of Hemis in my price range. Hemi, Hemi I should state, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, vehicles are a nickname for the larger, more high horsepower output engines that uh, Chrysler and Dodge make. I don't know why I forgot the word Dodge. Uh, they're a reference to, well, no need to explain that in the video. It'll take far too long, but it's a way that the engines are made where they make more horsepower, and it's something that really only Chrysler and Dodge do. Uh, it, it, they're rather impressive engines, and it's very, very hard to find them in this price range that make that kind of power. So to find a Ford engine that's just, you know, basic engine, it's Ford, you're not going to find anything extravagant. Uh, making that kind of power in my price range, it's very, very impressive. And it's rear-wheel drive. Never had a rear-wheel drive car before. I, I don't know if it would be too much of a jump off the deep end, though, because I am very much a, I'm very much a Volvo person. I, I like to take things a little bit safer. I mean, I honestly, I say joining the military was a jump off the deep end thing, but this was my... Everything is paid for. I have health care. I have education route of bettering my future. I, I would think jumping off the deep end would be running into college with a bunch of student loans and just saying, yeah, it'll be fine. If anything, this is my safer bet. So really, I do mean it when I don't normally go off the deep end. I try to think things through. And I don't know, just something about giving that kind of a car a chance to kind of experience that especially while I'm still young and while gas isn't five dollars a gallon yet which it most certainly will be later in my life it's tempting it's tempting but I mean at the same time you gotta balance whether you want to give off that kind of vibe to the world and whether you really care if the world looks at you funny I'm at that point in my life where I'm kind of transferring from one to the other, and who knows which. But, I don't know, that's kind of my internal monologue for the day, just trying to decide if I can convince myself that V8s are intelligent, somehow, morally, or spiritually, or something. Ah, uh, gracious. What else can I talk about? Let's see. Well, it was a pretty slow day as much as I did make progress and uh, I was kind of daydreaming about coming home buying a crazy car uh, it was pretty mundane I just kind of went went through the motions just did my day came home and uh, watched more Top Gear and for some reason the episodes today just kind of norm normally you watch TV to just kind of ignore what happened for the day or because you don't have anything better to do, better to do. but uh I don't know, just the videos lately just kind of made me smile. They were very good, kind of heartwarming a little bit. I don't know why. I mean, Top Gear isn't exactly heartwarming, but it just made me happy to watch it. It was just something I really enjoyed. They had a, uh, a special guest on one of the episodes that was very American. Uh, he's just an old dude that liked old cars and just landed on the uh, landed on the episode somehow. And I really kind of enjoyed just... Seeing that kind of guy again, it reminds me of the people back home who've just been 
fishing and working at the mill for the last 60 years straight. They were good guys. Ugh. Can't wait to get back and see them. Can't wait. But I got to talk about something after all so I can actually make a title out of this video because I really haven't been doing anything. Uh, gracious. <laughs> I really don't have anything much to talk about. I did take my scooter out for the first time in a little while because it wasn't raining, but it was freezing. Uh, my teeth were shaking the whole way home. Like one of those little wind-up chattery toys. You ever got one of those? I remember being like five years old knowing how much of a rip-off those were. And like those little cars where you pull them back and then they zip forward. Those were way better. Those were a way better toy to get. Let me just throw that out there. Any toy where you got the little pullback thing, you launch it forward, that's the good stuff. I don't know why Hot Wheels didn't, like, only do that. I mean, maybe it was to keep costs low and finding a motor that would fit in a tiny Hot Wheels like that. Probably wouldn't be quite as entertaining, but, I mean, come on. It would have been worth trying to figure out. That would have been pretty cool. Could you imagine if every Hot Wheels was a pullback like that? That'd be awesome. Ugh, talking about... Childhood toys just kind of gets me in a mood. <laughs> I had so many interests as a kid. I, At one point, it was robots. Uh, at another point, Pokemon. I already mentioned that, I believe. Uh, books were always a standby thing. I mean, all the way up until about junior year, I remember we did the, uh, what were they, AR points? AR reading, advanced reading, where you did the little 10-question test on the computers and the library and you got a certain amount of points based on the difficulty of the book you read I remember that I remember being so proud of the first book that I read where it was like 25 questions or whatever because it's a really big book that was great that was a great way to keep track of your reading and stuff I mean as a kid you're you're so encouraged to explore these things and it's so easy to take an interest in them but as an adult for some reason Everybody just kind of shuts you down on anything you're interested in. It becomes everybody's mission to make sure that you know the negatives of what you're doing. And you should be doing that too as an adult for some reason. It's expected. Maybe that's kind of part of the reason why I'm interested in a stupid fast car that wastes gas, looks ridiculous, and will more than likely give me a reputation as a complete and utter fool. Because why would you do that? That's not how the world operates. And I suppose there's a little bit of me that wishes it wasn't how the world operates. There's a part of me that wishes I could still explore the things I'm interested in. You know? My computer went to sleep again. That's the second time it's happened. This is becoming a thing. That's concerning. I'm gonna blame the Windows 11 update and then go from that, but... I suppose I could end my blabbery statements on me and your world is unfair by saying uh, don't don't lose your interests. Don't don't sell out what you want to do because it's not going to make you enough money because if you do what you want to do and you get good at it and you do it for long enough it'll make you money regardless of what it is. So If only past me had listened to future and also present back then which is past me hmm stay in school kids <laughs> don't do drugs my brain is fried enough <laughs> completely sober is that the word for drugs clean you can tell I'm not educated on the subject uh, Thanksgiving's coming up Faster than I'd really like it to. <laughs> it's crazy how time flies. I mean, it feels like it's still July. I feel like I've barely been here. But it's coming up. Turkey Day. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I was actually invited by uh, my sergeant to come show up to a little celebration that he and some of the other people in and around my unit are having. A little celebration. Uh, everyone's bringing food. Apparently there's going to be games and stuff. I don't know where. I don't know when. But I was invited. And uh, 
my unit has done some stuff in the past where they've all hung out together and I just kind of stay in my room because, excuse me, because I don't know, I'm, I'm really not that interesting of a person, to be honest. I mean, if you, if you really look at these vlogs and try to find something legitimately interesting in them, you'll, you'll catch my drift. Uh, the people who know me can put up with my rather mundane stories, but the people who just work with me don't find much interest in it, which is completely fair. Uh, I wouldn't expect them to, but getting actually invited to one of those was kind of interesting. I might have to call my grandma up, see if she's got any good recipes for me. Cause she was always packing something for Thanksgiving, Christmas, anything like that. She's a mastermind chef. Maybe I'll just make cheesecake. <laughs> that was my favorite thing grandma made. <laughs> uh, gosh. It's so funny how the most basic of things can just sear into your brain as a memory. If they're uh, related to someone you care about. Hi, grandma. I doubt you're, I doubt you're watching this. I don't even know if you may know this channel exists. Maybe I'll, I'll have to send you this one because you're in it a little bit. But hi, grandma. Thanks for all the cheesecake over the years. <laughs> Thanks for making me fat. <laughs> Thank goodness you lived about a mile away, so it was a uh, it was a good excuse to bike over or run over and burn off those calories that I would very very soon be putting on when I got to your house. Ah, uh, gracious! Oh, it's gonna be nice to get home. Can't wait. Can't wait to see everybody. Something about joining the army, it really makes you grateful for everybody you have. You miss a lot being in the army. You miss a lot. Like your sister getting engaged to. <laughs> Saw that on Facebook. <laughs> Gee, many. Granted, I, I let things pass by me, though. I I I'll bet if she'd have told me straight to my face, hey... By the way, I still would have forgotten. Uh, that's all right. My memory's not great. That's just how it is. Uh, makes it all the harder to keep track of what all is happening back home. It's hard. It's hard to judge what you're going to do in two weeks from everything that your family has encountered in a year. I have to condense that down and get that to you somehow. <sighs> it's weird. It's really weird. Another reason to stay in school, kids. <laughs> uh, make sure you get good grades. Get those scholarships. Get your education. Get a job you like and stick to it. Or don't. Go to a trade school. Or don't. Be a hobo. <laughs> I know that that was one of my other interests as a child I completely forgot about. I was like seven. I was like, I'm just going to be a hobo. Mom was like, no, you're not. I'm going like, to be a hobo. They look like they're having a good time. About ten years later, I learned they are having a good time because they are high. I was going to say a cuss word. <laughs> they got a Rocky Mountain high going on. They're, they are. Several thousand feet above sea level. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's probably enough garbage spewing from my mouth and my mind to make a good title somewhere in that, so I'll call it there. Not too much of an interesting day, but not a bad day. That's a thing. You can have boring days as long as you don't have bad days. Today wasn't bad. Today was all right. Today was all right. I can live with today. I mean, if I can't, I wouldn't be speaking to you, but... Whatever. Thank you for coming all the way to the end of this video with me. Following me down this path of just sheer stupidity. <laughs> so, whatever time zone you may be in, whether it be Korean, American, or anywhere else, whether it be good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whichever greeting I should be issuing to you, let that be taken away. And uh, whatever it is, regardless, I hope it's good. I'm so tired. 
ho- I hope the mouth noises wasn't too bad. I tried to keep them out, but I'm sure that they're still happening. Ah. Uh. From me, though, it's a good night. From me, from me, it's a good night. I'm 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 be sleeping about ten minutes after this goes up. <laughs> Thank you for watching all the way to the end. This has been Overlord Pop Tart. Stay frosty. Gosh, camera's so zoomed in. This is just kawaii. Oh, I know. Peace. 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 Hopefully none of those were gang signs. Stay frosty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. <laughs>